There are three common problems with other brothers and sisters that hinders us from waiting while others talk. Number one, we jump to a premature conclusion. We are rehearsing our response in our minds while they are still talking. I'm just beating women up over the head today. Something to you, you ain't heard nothing I said. And the reason why you ain't heard nothing I said is because you are rehearsing your response. You've already put together what you're gonna say, even before you heard me say what I was gonna say to you. And the reason why you're doing that is because you are assuming that you know exactly what I'm going to say. So many times what ends up happening is, is that you end up saying something that has in a clear, constructive, and persuasive manner. When we act like loose cannons, we hurt people. We don't heal relationships. Church, church is supposed to be a place where all of us are literally on the same plane. Recognizing that we are nothing but filthy rags. The church is supposed to be a place where education doesn't matter. Pentagram. Family status and stature should be matter. This is supposed to be the place where all of us come in, recognizing. 
realizing that we are all sinners. Yeah. Yeah. And that we're all been saved by grace. Yeah. I'm not feeling that. Yeah. The church should never be a place where there isms and schisms and cliques. Yeah. You can talk about anything else. That's right. Don't talk about my church. church. That's right. Do you not talk about nobody in our South Florida so so What was you doing there? It was quiet up in here now. person is tired, preoccupied with other things, or in a bad mood. This, this is almost marriage counseling. Or boom counseling. I don't know what I'm going to call it right now. Don't confront someone in front of others. Try to find a place free from distractions. Don't discuss things when a person is tired, preoccupied with other stuff, in bad mood. You, you, you know you, you know the trigger. That's good. Why are you trying to have a discussion with them when you know they mad? That's right. In bad mood. Amen. We need to talk about this now. You know, I'm, I'm trying to handle this. No, we need to stop. What about my feelings? What about your feelings? <laughs> See, and then you're going to get all upset. Ooh, you don't confront them in front of other folks. Don't front on the phone. Right time in the right place. Number two, 
you have to watch this, believe the best about others. If you don't, the other person will sense that you have already made up your mind and that it's pointless to even talk about it. If you're really about effective communication and making sure that the confrontation, because confrontation isn't always bad. That's true. It can be a positive thing. You gotta make sure that you come to them accepting and believing the best of them. The best, that's right. Number three. Talk in person whenever possible. That's good. That's it. That's it. Oh. Oh. Amen. Mm. Yeah. I'm old school. A lot of things can be lost in translation via text. Texts text don't have facial expressions. Texts don't have vocal and Somebody can read your text and see it totally differently than you text it. And the reason why we do that is because we don't want confrontation. 